go to um, go to your Mac um, partition, eject this uh, the other CD, put the new one in, and then boot into Windows again. I know that's annoying, but you have to do it. Let me show you the option key thing. So I'm holding option. Gives me Macintosh HD here and Windows here. You just click the arrow to go into whichever one you want. I'm choosing to go into Macintosh HD. So I'll be back when I get the driver's CD in. Okay, guys, I booted into Windows. My CD or DVD is in. And so now I'm just waiting for it to show itself. Um, it should just pop up, but if I need to, I should, yeah, okay, here it is. I just went to, uh, computer, and then devices with re removable storage. Um, let's see if it still hasn't popped up. No. Okay, so, setup information, uh, setup. I'm just going to double click setup. Um, let's see, no, I don't want to do this, I need, I need to go into the bootcamp folder, then the drivers, yeah, it should be the setup. Okay, Windows installer, preparing to install. Okay, yeah, this is it. So it says, welcome to Bootcamp Installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install Bootcamp. Uh, click Next. I accept the terms. Apple software update. Yes, I want it. And so guys, once this installs, you are done. Um, I will have one last part of this video uh, where I will be showing you how to make um, how to choose your default boot up. So if you, you wanna like when whenever you put on the power button, oh look, okay, I'm done. So now I should be able. Oh wait, something else popped up. Oh, it's installing the display right now. So we'll just have to wait, but. I'll be showing you how to change what boots up when you click the on button. So if you want, say, um, your Mac part par partition to boot up um, without clicking anything, uh, it you can make it that, or you can make it so Windows boots up when you hit the power button. Um, you can make it either one. So I'll be back with you when I'm. In the back in the Mac partition. Hello guys, I'm back on the Mac partition and to choose your uh, startup uh, or booting up system, you're gonna go to your system preferences, uh, startup disk, and then it's gonna give you a few options. It's gonna give you Mac, Windows, and network startup. So if you want Mac, then you're just gonna click on this like I already have. And so when you turn on your computer, it's going to go straight to the Mac. If you click on Windows Boot Camp, it'll go straight up to Windows. So I'm just going to leave it at Mac. And thanks, guys. This finishes up our tutorial on how to install Windows 7 on a Mac.